We're on the Celebrity Edge just checking in today. Beautiful ship, we're so excited about our trip. This is an infinite veranda stateroom. We're in number 8198. And my wife is gonna help me demonstrate the veranda. So you can the infinite it, veranda. I guess if you have it um, closed, then this is a regular mm -hmm. balcony, or you can open it. In There's a remote control, as you can see. Pretty sweet. And then you add to your room square. And you said there's a remote control to bring the shades up and down too, right? That's nice. Right. So we have uh, four four of us. We have two kids here with us too. So this is the um, this is the bedding for children. If you're adults sharing a cabin a with double, kids, a this is a double decker. pull out, double decker okay, pull out. Pull okay. James is going to be sleeping on that double decker. Are you going front front top or bottom, James? Bottom. bottom all right and so this is the bathroom it's, you know it's it's really quite nice quite a nice big spacious shower for a cruise cabin we love it we're excited very excited to start this trip nice view huh so this is the edge out here that's what the name of this um, sort of bar is bar patio lounge and this is what gives the ship its name Isn't it beautiful and so as you can see this goes up and down so this uh, edge sort of platform when we go through the Panama Canal this is gonna go down along all the way to the bottom very neat I'm here this afternoon with Captain Tasso. This is day 10 of our cruise. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna ask him what he loves about this ship, but one thing that I love about it is we have an awesome captain. If you guys come on this ship, whatever events Captain Tasso is doing, you gotta go to him because he is entertaining, he's interesting, he gives announcements at 10 o'clock every day, and whatever I'm doing, I stop to listen to it because he's interesting and funny. But I just wanna ask you, Captain, tell us something unique about this ship. Well, the edge class ships, they have the biggest pools at sea. So there's 25 meters in size. And you can see behind is the biggest pool you will ever see on a cruise ship. So that makes it very special. And of course, the design of the ship, very modern, very efficient, very environmentally friendly. That's it. Thank and you. a very good captain. Thank you, Captain. So this is the quiet area on the ship. This is the solarium. There's a beautiful indoor pool and jacuzzi here. And uh, as you can see in the background. And um, the chairs are much more comfortable here than in the other parts of the ship. Um, the, the other parts of the ship, the chairs are fine too, but they're just standard beach chairs. These are nice cushy ones that have pillows and stuff like that. So I found that if you want to take a nap somewhere other than your uh, bedroom, this is the place to do it. You can take a really nice nap in here. It's fairly quiet. Children are not allowed in here, it's adults only. So if you want to come in here for a relaxing time, the uh, solarium is one of my favorite parts of the ship. Take a look here. You know, you also get a really good view too. Yesterday we were anchored in Gatun Lake and we just came here and hung out for a little while. It was really nice. So there's four, four main dining. If you don't want to go to the specialty restaurants, you want to go to one of the restaurants that is included in your, in your cruise package. This is one of them. There's Cyprus, there's Cosmopolitan. The, Cyprus is the Greek, Tuscan is the Italian, Cosmopolitan, and Jen, what's the fourth one? French, Normandy. New American. Right, and, and the French is Normandy. So first of all, with the reservations, before we came on the cruise, we were wondering because we didn't see a lot of reservations available on our app. Jen was a little right. worried about that, on but the, it turned out there was nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, it, before we came on the cruise, it looked like we needed to have made reservations in advance, but you, that's not necessary. You could make right. it on the cruise uh, one day in advance. So on Monday, you can make your reservation for Tuesday, and you can either do that on the app, yep. in person with the host or hostess, or call from your room, uh, yeah. your stateroom at 8 a.m. and 
make a reservation for the next night. And I think what we found too is that you can also walk up without a reservation and see people doing that. Or except, make changes. Right, you can make changes. Yeah, yeah. It's really not a it's, problem. It's but flexible. It's, it's not, very flexible. Rigid. The only time you're going to see a you know a rush on these restaurants is right when a big show lets out. So when the big show is let out, yeah, then 8, 8, people 15, people cluster 30. right over here who don't have reservations. Yeah. But we didn't find it to be an issue. And as far as what's the difference of the four restaurants, Jen, explain sort of how that works. We're going to so, give you a sample menu, so this for is example. Cyprus. We're here tonight. We love um, this restaurant. It's, it's really good. This is the Greek restaurant. So, so every night the uh, Cyprus exclusives right. stay the same. So every night these will be offered. Yeah, you got three starters and three entrees, for example. The classics are also available available every, every night, night at, at every all, restaurant. At all the restaurants. Right. So these are just only these are only at Cyprus. Right. Um, the exclusives and Tuscan would have six or three starters, three entrees right. that, that stay the same at, at Tuscan. At Tuscan. Same with Cosmopolitan and Normandy. So you'd have your French or your... Right, so the left side of the menu is always the stuff from that, specific to that restaurant. Yes. And the right side is the stuff that every yeah, restaurant any, has those. Any of the four restaurants. And the signatures change every night. Yes. So the signatures change every night. The classics are there for the entire time. So the classics are like chicken breast, steak, salmon, shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad, um, escargot, and French onion soup. So that stuff is there all the time. This stuff constantly changes, and this these things are the same. So, like in the Greek, for example, you can get saganaki and souvlaki, and the you know the the lamb and the phyllo, which are all really really good. You get those every night. So, that's sort of it in a and nutshell. The desserts are the same. There are uh, right. There are exclusives to the yep. restaurant, which they the exactly same, classics are the same, and then the signature. Exactly, the same deal with the dessert menu. And like, really, what we did was we started out trying each restaurant. So your first four nights, you might want to just go to each one and then see which one you like and you'll start patronizing those more and more. But I really, I liked all of them. Yeah, I guess I would say Cyprus was my very favorite, but there's things at Normandy that I loved a lot too. Like they have a, um, a tart, an Alsatian tart there that I was in love with and a couple of other things. So I guess I would say Cyprus is my favorite, probably Normandy's second favorite. And then, you know, and then the other two, I like Tuscan and Cosmopolitan too, but I think Cyprus was my favorite. Anyways, that's sort of the dining in a nutshell. Thanks. This is the Cosmopolitan restaurant. Fresh pastries this morning, which look good. Fresh juices. Good morning. Restaurant looks beautiful this morning, guys. I just want to show how beautiful this restaurant looks before all the people get here. Morning. This is Cyprus, the Greek Mediterranean restaurant on board. This is one of the most popular ones I could tell from last night, the crowds that were here. Very pretty decor. I'm in the Eden Cafe this morning with Marco. He's from Macedonia, one of my favorite countries. And Marco, tell us the Eden Cafe. So if you have a basic cruise package, you can eat breakfast and lunch here for free. And what kind of good stuff do you have here? For example, in the morning we have two types, steel cut and old fashioned oatmeal. The oatmeal is very good. I had it yesterday. And we have extras, for example, we have berries, strawberries, mm -hmm. juice, whatever you want. We have here are some cinnamon rolls, banana bread, mm -hmm. and bacon pastry. 
The breakfast sandwiches here are delicious. I had yes. the breakfast sandwich yesterday with eggs, cheese, and bacon, I think. Yes. That was good. The turkey one is my favorite. Turkey panini? Yes, turkey panini. Okay. Bigel over here. And there's yogurt parfait with berries. Yes, yogurt parfait. You can see this. one. Uh-huh. Yes, we have some mix of fruits over here. This is a somewhat healthy place to eat, right? Yes. What kind of stuff do you have at lunch? At lunch, we have two types of soup. Mm -hmm. Some uh, always is one is uh, fish soup, the other one is either kozume or vegetables. Have, uh, we have a couple of sandwiches, we have a mix of salad. Also, well. Fabinogu. Yeah. Yes. Super popular place if you want espresso, cappuccino, latte, anything like that. And we also have pastries and things of that nature. Muffins. Morning, everybody. So here we have uh, avocado bruschetta, and then we have banana bagels, and also over here, should we show sure. the juices and smoothies? By the way, introduce yourself too. This is Noisy oh, yeah, from Brazil. You're from, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, right? From Sao Paulo, yeah. Nice to meet you. And she's at one of my favorite little spots on the Thank cruise, you. which is the Spa Cafe. This is where you come if you want to eat healthy food, right? Exactly. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. She makes smoothies here that are really delicious. Exactly. Yeah, and also, menu. what else? Our menu. Let's and show then, some of this other stuff. Okay, fruit salad, and then we have the banana nuts and the zucchini muffin. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the best coffee places on the ship, too. Oh, yeah, La Plaza. You can get Americano and other things okay. here and all kinds of good uh -huh, stuff. For sure. And this is where you make all the smoothies. Exactly, we have, exactly. We have like that, as right? well some uh, an, uh, um, seeds for you. Obrigado. De nada. nicer gems I've seen in a cruise ship and beautiful views too, all the, all the machines, tons of machines and you have a view too, which is really nice. Classes you can sign up for. Pretty neat view for my workout this morning. Going through the Panama Canal. The new locks. An aptly named Sunset Bar. My son James, he's here. Um, we're on day seven of the cruise, is it, Jen? Or day six? We're more than halfway through the cruise, so I wanted to ask James for sort of an update, his observations so far about the ship, how he likes it, and what's going on. What do you say, James? Sure. Overall observations. What do you have to say, son? Um, it's pretty fun. Good. Pretty food. fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's fun. It's good food, fun events in the club and in the theater too. Tell me about some of the features of the ship. What do you like about it? Um, they have a pretty fun teen club with Xboxes and stuff. <laughs> and they have a cool theater with like two floors. What about some of the ports so far? What did you think of the ports of like Cartagena and also the one we went today, Aruba? I thought it was fun in Aruba because we were just at the beach hanging out. And um, in Cartagena, it was kind of cool to go to the old town 
Also, what about that monkey that you fell in love with in Cartagena you wanted to bring on the ship? Um, yeah, that was cool. I like the zoo in Cartagena. <laughs> It was whatever. right at the port there, wasn't it? Yeah. James was thinking maybe we could sneak the monkey onto the ship, but unfortunately we could not. All right, thanks, James. What doing over here? These amazing clouds getting towards the golden hour on our port day in Bonaire. The ship just looks so beautiful in this light with all these beautiful clouds. There's a pretty island next to us here too. Love to start the morning this way. Day three on the cruise. About 6.45 a.m. Starting out with a nice walk along the track. You gotta love it. feel like losing a whole bunch of money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, some people win. Just not me whenever I gamble. Quite an extensive casino though, as you can see. And a nice sports bar here too. Welcome to Curacao. What a what a what a beautiful welcome to Curacao. Thank you guys for coming here. Yeah. Greeting us at the ship. It's very nice. Thank you. Bonjour. Give them a couple of phrases in Papiamento. Yes. Um, bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Curacao. Morning, everybody. Well, we are back in Fort Lauderdale, Port Everglades. It is just about time to get off the ship. I'm milking the last hour or two here because I love this ship so much. It's been such a great trip. I'm absolutely not in any hurry to get off. Uh, I'm gonna move down a little bit here. A couple things I haven't had a chance to talk about too much is the crew of this. The, the crew on this on this ship has been absolutely fantastic. This is what has really made the trip. I love the ports. Love the ship. I love the crew even more. I think there were something like 1,200 crew members on the ship and 2,900 passengers at full capacity, right, which we were this week because it was a holiday. And we met people from 35 countries. Now, supposedly there's about 60 or 61 countries uh, represented in the crew. I personally met people from 35 countries, and I know that because I kept track of them in my little notebook because I love that. I love meeting people from other countries. To me, this is really one of the highlights of coming on a celebrity cruise. Incredible geographic diversity. We've done a lot of cruises before where almost all of the staff are from the same countries, usually Philippines, Indonesia, a handful of them. Here, so many countries represented and such nice people. How do they do the recruiting on this ship? I have no idea. I would love to know. I would love to meet the recruiters for Celebrity to find out what their key is to finding nice people from around the world. I don't know how they do it, but they do. So we met people from Albania to Zimbabwe. Uh, just incredible. Kenya, Mauritius, uh, Croatia, Serbia, the Balkans, uh, all over Southeast Asia, um, the Caribbean, St. Vincent, uh, Barbados, everywhere, Honduras, Mexico, and they just, they're all so nice. You walk around the ship, good morning, sir, hello, and it's not, it's not fake, you know, sometimes you're out uh, at a place, or you're dining in a restaurant, or whatever, and everyone's being nice to you, but it seems so incredibly fake. It doesn't seem like that here on the ship, honestly. The people are just nice. Somehow they found really nice and very professional people on this ship and 
my interactions with the crew here, all the fun that I've had and the, and the friends that I've made here with some of the crew members who I gave my business card to and I hope I've offered some of them to come <laughs> dine at our house in Tampa and I hope that they do. Love these people, they're so good. So to me, um, I loved everything on the ship. This is, I think that this is the best cruise I have ever taken and I've been on a lot of them. Um, but I think the crew is really for me the highlight of the entire experience and I cannot wait to come on another celebrity journey. I mean, this, this thing was the full package, guys. The food was outstanding. Um, the cabin was really nice. Again, we had the infinite veranda. The bed was very comfortable. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Um, what else? We really like the ports. Of course, you always want more time in the ports, but what are you gonna do? This is an 11-night cruise, and we saw a lot. I believe we sailed more than 2,000 um, nautical miles. I have to look it up. It's in my, I'll post it somewhere in the comments or wherever. We had more than 2,000 nautical miles, so we went far. And um, overall, just an amazing experience. I hope you guys like this video, and please subscribe to me for more great content and um, hit me up in the comments or you know how to find me on my website if you have questions about um, a lot of the celebrity edge I'm happy to help you guys cheers thank you